Alrighty then, my royal chums, it is I, Daniel, you may call me the pop culture dude, and we're back again for an interesting Sonic Movie 2 news. So after when the trailer broke the internet, I made my reaction to it, I made my breakdown video about it, but now, I haven't discovered this small information, and it has to do with the director himself, Jeff Fowler. I gotta get props to the main man himself, Jeff Fowler, who came a long way from doing animation work, being nominated for an Oscar for his animated short Go For Broke, to now making a live-action CGI hybrid movie based on his favorite video game franchises growing up, Sonic the Hedgehog, and now gets to make a very bigger and ambitious sequel, which I have so much respect for Jeff as a filmmaker. He's so passionate, he's so dedicated, but also he knows what the fans want in a very loyal manner, especially since he's been listening to criticism after the hideous manhog design and decided to delay the movie just to make Sonic right from his physical looks. And now he actually gets to talk about all of everything that he talks about the sequel, the cast members, including Sonic Movie 3, Ooh. In this interview article from Collider, it states, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 director Jeff Fowler on the bigger sequel, Knuckles Powers, and Jim Carrey transforming himself into the Eggman. Fowler also talks about his thoughts on Sonic 3 and how Knuckles is like the Winter Soldier coming into Sonic's world. The article itself is pretty long from Collider themselves, so I'll definitely leave that in the link in the description below, but if you want to look it up yourself, just type in Jeff Fowler Sonic 2 on Google, and then it gives you to this image from Collider, and it's an interview where Jeff Fowler is being asked, like, what was the success from the first movie and pack into the second one, what was like with the casting of bringing Colleen O'Shaughnessy back to reprise the role as Tails, Idris Elba's interesting, meaningful take on Knuckles the Echidna that Jeff Fowler absolutely adored, how was it like of re-teaming with a legend himself, Jim Carrey himself, back with Dr. Robotnik once again on the big screen, but now we get to the main important highlights, the ideas, the potential ideas for Sonic Movie 3. Jeff Fowler says, Of course, even if somebody didn't ask me to be thinking about ideas for future installments, it would be impossible not to. Even as we're working through the visual effects and animation on this film, it's impossible not to already get excited and to be starting to scheme all about the directions that the story could go, what new characters coming in, that the impact that they could have. It's the best part of the creative process when it's just kind of a blank canvas and you can really just start to have blue sky ideas. Even if, again, it not in an official capacity, if the request comes through the start laying the blueprints for another Sonic film, I will be armed and ready with all kinds of ideas. I would just love to get that opportunity. Speaking of ideas, even the interviewer went dive deep into that question. He asked, the Sonic games have other characters that the fans love. Are there any sorts of like Easter eggs that you're planting in this movie or nods to the other characters that might be in a third film if you're lucky enough to make it? And then Jeff Fowler responds, I will say that one of my favorite experiences from the first film is being in the theaters and sort of sneaking in at the end of the screening for Tails to show up and just seeing the reaction of the crowd, people and kids just absolutely losing their minds and yelling at the screen. So how can you not want to continually tease new additions to the world, to the Sonic movie world? And I got a list of favorites, that's a mile long. So it's great to have 30 years of Sonic games and comics and animated series and all the material to sort of to pull over from in order to build the world out. There's so much opportunity to tell more stories and to bring in more characters. And he's totally not wrong on that. I mean, obviously why they did not bring Tails and Knuckles in the first movie just because they want to keep the budget like very small and they want to develop the characters for like Sonic and Robotnik. Even Jeff Fowler choose specifically why does want to choose Tails and Knuckles, not for the sake of fan service, but to have like meaningful arcs for their stories. And I also couldn't agree more because it's better off to develop the characters either way and not oversaturate with too many characters, but Jeff Fowler is open to bring many characters and many potential stories that they could do. Like it's way too early to make predictions for the third movie because we need to see the second movie first on April 8th, 2022. And just like what I did with the first movie, I will make my predictions video for potentially Sonic Movie 3, just like I did with the second one like a year ago, which you can check out that video by the way but for my expectations for the third movie from what we're seeing that sonic movie 2 will definitely take a lot of inspirations from sonic adventure 1 sonic adventure 2 and basically a little bit of the classic games here are there like sonic 2 3 and knuckles but there could be potentially like some lead-ups like the water scene that popped up and potentially the master emerald 2 what if we get perfect chaos or since gun is evolved and since there's going to be some sonic adventure reflections why not get the anti-edgier version of sonic the hedgehog shadow the hedgehog and that would be a potentially a 
a great tease for the third movie. Or you could bring Amy Rose, so you could bring a concept of a fangirl that basically is obsessed with Sonic, where Sonic cannot handle it. Or they could do Metal Sonic, which is basically a robotic version of Sonic that Dr. Robotnik can invent. So there's so many possibilities and so many directions for where they could take the third movie. But as I said before, guys, a third movie's not confirmed, but Jeff Fowler is definitely open to it. I mean, not too long ago, even both the writers, Pat Casey and Josh Miller, talk about the potential characters that they could do if they have a much more bigger budget for the third movie so they can add in more characters, more storylines to adapt, and they can eventually can expand the world of the Sonic Cinematic Universe as Jeff Fowler would love to do. Then why can't we just call a third movie Sonic No Way Home to bring back Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield? Isn't that what Agent Stone wanted, right? Right? I'm just kidding, so... All joking aside, in order for a third movie to be officially be confirmed, we just gotta see the success of the second movie that would convince Paramount Pictures to make a third movie so they can bring back Jeff Fowler and as well as the cast and crew to continue to expand more of the Sonic movie franchise with more characters and more storylines and for more exciting things that they could expand in the Sonic Cinematic Universe. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Take care now. Bye bye then.